Depp is a top-down horror shooter about a creature of the same name that finds itself in the midst of a corruption twisting his world into something truly horrific. You will recruit further depths as you progress, allowing you to unleash stronger attacks, solve more complicated puzzles and open passages previously inaccessible. So if the premise intrigues you, let's discuss Depp. I first came across Depp on Twitter during his development by Melting Parrot Games, a husband and wife team from Australia. The initial screenshots of the game convinced me to wishlist it, even though I'm really not into horror games. And so, Spooktober is here, so it's time to shit my pantaloons. Our channel's other host, V, has a lot of stories about how I handle horror games, and I'm sure if he's watching right now, he's laughing his ass off. The game itself starts out like any great horror game should. The main protagonist starts out just fine, everything is alright, or at least so it seems. We fall from the skies and Depp starts out its life. Not long after we meet other fellow Depps and after a quick chat with them we meet Deer, a kind of a shaman protector figure. He welcomes us and sends us on our way to be blessed and to see Mother. As we meet Mother in this very idyllic place, just about to be blessed, the orb in Mother's hands shatters and the corruption breaks loose twisting everything in its wake. We also catch a glimpse of the antagonist, this twisted bonehead figure. After Depp wakes up, the world completely changes, everything is dark, twisted, you barely see things, and there are thorns and dark waters everywhere. This is where the game truly starts. This is where you are introduced to the mushrooms you will collect in order to craft your potions, and as well as some of the puzzles and passage openings that will be essential later on in the game. And this tutorial is where you are introduced to the other Depps and their importance. They are your friends, yes you are a Depp, but so are the others. Recruiting more depths to your cause can help in a lot of ways, whether it's to open a passage or fighting enemies. You can fire more bullets at the enemy dependent on the number of depths that you have, although you need to charge them to unleash the bullets. This forces you to choose between waiting until the charge is full or unleashing it earlier, hoping the damage will be enough. You will have to lead your pack of depths as they are your resource of bullets, they are your meat shields and they are essential in your dream garden where you will spend your time in between chapters where you will be using your collectibles to grow trees in order to achieve the good ending of the game. Not long after the tutorial you are already in deep waters, trying to find your way, leading your fellow depths like Moses in the desert and the horror elements will start kicking in. In the music, in the scenery, some eerie little sound comes from behind your back and you instantly turn your light to see what it is there, because well of course most of the time that will be your only source of light. And from the darkness emerges the corruption. You'll notice it as it has a dark vibrant redness to it and it immediately starts to turn you and your depths into some twisted ass versions of yourself. Better watch out, if you don't want to deal with unexpected enemies and casualties in between, your dead friends can die and so can you. If you don't want to get corrupted, do not linger in it for too long. This forces you to either make a fire to suppress the corruption or rush the area since you'll get a game over if you somehow get corrupted, which adds a great rush and another layer of fear to the gameplay. Enemies can spawn out of nowhere sometimes with their screeching coming to the word cry that sounds like a twisted baby is just being born. One of the best things about Depp is that it tries to give you a horror element that can be unexpected as you play. More and more enemies will be introduced later on with different attack patterns and spawn patterns. Their spawn pattern can surprise you and it never gets old until the end of the game. Depp delivers visuals that look similar to the world of the Matrix, but realistic at the same time. It looks amazing due to the filters and effects that are added to it. The use of light filters in some areas help to give some sort of atmosphere to the game, while the use of different color palettes in each chapter gives some variety to the look. Anyone who's been following this channel for a while knows that I love pixel art and anything remotely close to it. This was one of the main reasons I wanted to play this game despite it is being a horror shooter. The colors that the game uses really complement each other. 
The devs found the perfect colors that go with dark red, dark blue, dark black and so on. The game looks great and it really adds to the horror element. Story-wise the game is ok, just nothing spectacular. Good guys versus bad guys, sprinkled with corruption. It's not bad but it isn't as twisted and interesting as I was hoping, or meticulously written and the presentation is quite vague. It's a bit hard to understand, I'm not sure if it's because the story is just a simple one, or if it's because of the dialogues that are though concise, they are also vague enough so that it might be the reason why it can be hard to understand the context sometimes. Another tiny problem of mine is the save game system. The save point only works once, there were several occasions when I still needed to explore the remaining areas, or I wanted to go back to check one remaining part of the map, but I have triggered an autosave and a cutscene that blocked me to ever go back. So I had to start another run just to get all the collectibles and all the achievements for this game. Overall this game is a true gem for those who might want to ease themselves into the horror genre. It is beautifully crafted, I didn't encounter any bugs, it holds together very well, and I really like the horror element that looms in the background just to sometimes slap you in the face. It all reminded me the old school horror games like Alone in the Dark. I appreciate how the game always tries to experiment with new mechanics. You're not always forced to defeat the enemies with your bullets, nor using your fellow devs to unlock an area and go with them. There is a variation to unlock an area where you need to sacrifice your fellow devs, or a mechanic that forces you to figure out how to solve an area. You might even die a lot at first in these places and be forced to think differently since your solution doesn't work. So if you like the visuals and the genre, do yourself a favor and buy this game, you won't be disappointed. So should you play it? Absolutely. Thank you very much for watching. So what do you guys think of this game? Do you like horror games or you're just like me, who doesn't really into them as they are not my cup of tea? Write it down in the comments as I'm really looking forward to see how people are feeling about the horror genre. As always the game's link is in the description with the devs and our socials as well. So if you like this video please give it a thumbs up as it helps us immensely and if you want to see other videos like this, why not subscribe, it's free. So until the next video, Escape Pod, out.